remember my husband saying, okay, I know you're creating. He's like, but we're going to be like in Europe for a month. Like, do you think it's smart to really start your, like start recording? Like, I know you can do it yourself. And I had a great setup. I actually had something that I could take portable. So I was like, oh, he's like, but you're going to want to promote and you're going to want, and I was like, oh, you're right. (laughs) I want to be on our family trip, right? I want to really focus on that. So I had just spent thousands of dollars on this website. I had just found someone that was going to help me with production because I realized I do not want to do the production. You know, I I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I knew this was going to be a, this was like when it was a passion project. So I didn't want to like spend crazy money on this. Um, I was at the time doing some fitness stuff that I was like, I'll just funnel that in and use that money to kind of build this and see where it goes. Right. I don't want, I don't want to take like, you know, I say to my husband, Hey, can you give me, I didn't want, I don't want, I wanted to do this myself. And, um, so it was a really funny thing. Cause I then had just had this website that I was like, oh, but it's here. And if I don't see through it because I'm such an all or nothing person. And if I paused, I was really worried that the idea it was just going to be gone. Right. I was going to find something else that I was passionate about. And that is, I, I love Like when I get into things, I get into things and I am really good at seeing them through. But if I knew that there was something that was, you know, like a great family trip, which I was going to be excited about, I wanted to be able to be a hundred percent there. So I was like, I have to finish all of this before I can be like, okay, now when I get back, I'm going to pick it up here. So I spent thousands and then I would say you know what? I think the, the website was done in like April, but so okay. then, and, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to not do it yet. Cause you're right. Blah, blah, blah. As I was getting like the concept and all that, but that was the first thing I started was the website. I got all the domains, I got the emails, but I didn't really have like the meat. Like I really didn't even know hundred percent what I was going to do the podcast on, but I knew how, what I was going to do, you know? So it was, it was again, backwards. Like I should have just started creating content yeah, and not, and that website that I spent thousands on, I don't even use it anymore. Mm. Probably like five months in, I decided I wanted to create a course because on creating, you know, helping people find their passion and turning it into a business, because that's what I was doing. Then I started at, you know, having people ask me, how do I do this? How do I was like, you know, I'm just going to do an online course. So I changed my whole platform over to Kajabi where you can have it all. And that one website that I spent so much money, just, it was kind of a waste, but I don't look at it that way Yeah, because it got me going. It got the fire going. It got like how I wanted to flow and do things, but I did spend a lot of money and wasted it. And that I don't love to do that. Yeah. It's interesting that I had a John Dwoskin. um, He's a business coach on the other day and he was talking about how he sees failures as seminars. He said, just some are more expensive than others. Uh, I thought that was brilliant. And it it sounds like the same thing. I think it's such a, an important mindset to have because failures do happen, but it's almost looking back as I'm writing down stories of failure, or I'm thinking through them um, from the outside looking in. Yeah, it was failure. But, but for me, it was just kind of like a funny time or a fun time. I didn't beat myself up over it. Uh, and then, you know, had a lesson at the end of it. So I think growing up, same thing with you. I just never had a sense of like beating myself up for when I failed or maybe all those failures just kind of like were brushed aside and I just forgot about them until, you know, right. you sit down and think about them. But I think that mindset's really important. And it's interesting. You said that, that, that you never, never really let them weigh you down. Cause I know there, there are several people that can, cause they can be heavy. 